What's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a great week, great day. Um, all of you guys who are uh, subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. It helps out. Um, it keeps, keeps me going and keeps me motivated. Uh, this week, I ended up buying this um, titanium lava fiber wrap. It's basically exhaust wrap. Um, now, I've bought stuff like this before in the past, but I ended up buying the name brand DEI, I think that's what it's called, and that stuff works really great. This is um, some Amazon stuff that I bought. It's a two inch by 50 feet. Um, this same roll um, in the name brand would cost around 60 bucks. I got this for $14, $16. I'll leave it a link in the description below um, um, where I got it. It comes with some gloves, which you need, and some metal zip ties. I believe there's eight in there um, to kind of finish off the wrap. But anyways, this stuff is made out of fiberglass, and you need to wear gloves and long sleeve shirts and uh, some long pants. I'm going to be wearing some shit that I'm just going to throw away that I don't want to even wash with my other clothes. But anyways, what I'm going to wrap is this. Um, I ride this with shorts on a lot of times and just cruising around and the location that it's at it's like right there next to my leg so I mean my calf basically rests up against it sometimes so it's I mean this shit is hot um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little comparison um, I'm gonna get it running let it idle for about five ten minutes and hit it with the temperature gun. Um, I'm gonna be using this one right here. I'll put that in the links in the description also uh, on what I'm using. So look like right now it's at 75 degrees, pretty cool. So and I'll keep hitting it as the time goes and see how hot it gets. And then I'll put the wrap on and see if it makes a difference. So it's been about five minutes. Came back from a ride, a little 10 minute ride. Um, got through the gears. Um, let's see what the temp looks like. We're at 200 degrees. Um, yeah, what do we got? About 200 degrees on the pipe. Um, my foot touched it right there. So, yeah, that shit does get hot. See down here where my foot touched. Oh, about 200 degrees. So, I'm gonna put the wrap on, ride it again, and then uh, do a little comparison, see if uh, 
it helps. You know, you can tell you wrote in it whenever your hands are shaking because this thing is it's fun, but you're riding that line of just one mess up and you're post. Getting the wrap wet helps you tighten the wrap as tight as possible and also keeps a lot of the fibers down that could get released. One thing I have noticed about this wrap is that there is one side that is a lot looser on the ends than the other. So you want to make sure that the side that has the loose ends is the side that's uh, going to be wrapped and the side that's not so tight that, that is, is going to be the one that's going to be showing. So just be aware of that, guys. Also notice I'm wearing clothes that I am going to be getting rid of. I'm not going to be washing it because I don't want any of my uh, regular clothes being washed with the the fibers that are going to be stuck in this clothing. Also, one thing I didn't do, which I should have done, was add a metal zip tie in the beginning after the first couple of wraps. That way it stayed secure and tight. I didn't do that because it didn't move on me. But next time, or if you guys are going to do this, uh, this is probably one thing you guys want to do. It also helps if you guys cut the wrap into like five foot sections, a minimum, depending on what you're working on. Um, that way you're not fighting with the whole 50 foot roll. That's why they supply you with at least eight zip ties, uh, depending on what you're wrapping. Uh, you can use as many or as little as you need. Having a good set of wire cutters are really handy because this stuff is pretty hard to cut. I finally had to go to the device holding the pipe and trying to wrap it with a uh, being a little bit too much. So I needed uh, an extra pair of hands. So the device, um, Played as those extra hands for me. All right, guys, so here's the final product. Came out looking pretty good. I uh, was able to even add the, the heat shield back on there, but uh, it was a little tougher only because of the, I guess the multiple bends and then diameter changes. Um, if it was just like one, if it was like one size throughout the, the whole way, it'd probably be a lot easier, but the, Definitely the change in diameter kind of affected the wrap as far as wrapping it, but uh, ultimately it came out really good. It looks good. Uh, now I just need to test to make sure it um, actually does work. So let's try that.
Wow, it's a big improvement. 120 degrees versus the 200 degrees after the ride. Here where my leg sits. Uh, really big improvement. About 70 degrees cooler. So well, so it works. Alright guys, so that does it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I'm just going to leave you guys with a little bit of a recap on what we did today. Uh, the Amazon wrap that I bought, it was uh, $15 for a 2 inch by 50 foot roll. And it came with 8 metal zip ties. And if you were to go with a DEI name brand stuff, same stuff, it would cost you $70 and would not come with any metal zip ties. You would have to pay an extra $30 to get a pack of 10. So chalk one up for Amazon. Uh, the product appearance and, and workability, man, I've used both stuff now and I can honestly say that they work very, very similar. So there's no, no win there, they're both the same. Uh, as far as performance, man, it shocked me that it was even 70 degrees cooler than when it was with no wrap. So I can't imagine the DEI stuff working any better than if it did. I don't know that it's even worth the money, so I'll chalk one up for Amazon on that one. My final thoughts for it, you just can't beat it for the money, honestly, guys. I definitely would recommend this to anybody who's in the market uh, looking for any kind of heat wrap. This stuff, man, do not pass it up. Um, it, it works really good, and like I said, I've used both, and I can honestly say I would definitely use this stuff again. So. Uh, thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.